Okay, let's try another one. Here's another one that I'm just uh, pulling out here. So let's call it example math is fun because you know it is. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you guys put up with me. Okay, so example math is fun. Here is our example. Y is equal to X cubed, Y is equal to zero, and X is equal to one. And we're going to go about that X axis, and we're charged with finding the volume. So let's graph this bad boy first. I know that Y equals zero and X equals one. So I'm going to chuck out here and make this a one. Make this a one just because I feel like we can see that better. So y equals zero, x equals one, and then this is y is equal to x cubed. We know that this is that cubic function, but I have the point one one, so this is going to come up like this. And we know if we were to look at the graph, it would come all the way down like that. But from our parameters here of what it is that we're looking at, here is my section, here is my solid that I'm gonna be revolving, and I'm revolving that bad boy around what? We're taking that little fella right around that y-axis. Okay, so let's talk about what it is that we're looking at here. Um, are we looking at a washer method, or are we looking at the shell method, which one? Yeah, we're looking at the shell method because look at what's happening here. I already have this, right? Mm, let's write this function here. Y is equal to X cubed. I'm going around the Y axis. I already have this in terms of X, right? And if I'm taking this function, it's going right to my axis. I'm sitting right here. I'm sitting on this X axis. It's just easier. Could I put this in terms of y around the y-axis and make the washer method? Yeah, on this particular problem I could because I would have 1 minus my function, but then I'd be dealing with a cube root. Can you? Yeah, is it really that big of a deal? No, probably not. However, I'm already sitting on this axis. I don't have to have two things I'm subtracting. It's set up, ready to go. Anytime it's set up, ready to go, then you're good. If I have my shell method and I'm going about the y-axis, that means my differential here is going to be a dx. So everything has to be in terms of x. And shell method is 2 pi rh. So my volume, I'm going to chuck that 2 pi out in front. And if I'm doing everything in terms of x, my bounds are in terms of x, my r here is in terms of x, and then I have my top, which is x cubed, minus my bottom, which is my best day ever, because that's zero, and then this is an easy integration. So I've got two pi, and I'm gonna go from zero to one here of x to the fourth, because when you multiply like bases, you add those exponents. So I've got two pi, and I've got that 1 fifth x to the fifth from 0 to 1. So volume is equal to 2 pi times a 1 fifth. So my volume is 2 pi over 5. Right? Not bad at all. Could you go through and do the other method? Yes, I'm not going to. If you do, you'll come up with 2 pi over 5, right? because that's what your disk washer method, I'm talking about the exact same solid. It's gonna be this bowl thing here that I'm revolving around that axis. This is one you could do both ways also. Some you can, some you can't, but that's the key.